Today, we're going to talk about the process of starting a holding company. If this is something that you want to do and you're a little scared, we offer a service where we'll set up your holding company, we'll set up your operating company, we'll teach you what you need to do to set up your business banking, we'll walk you through it step by step, the link's below. All right, so let's talk about starting a business with no money or the dangers of starting a business with no money. Let me go ahead and give you some insights on some stuff that I did at the beginning of the year. I ran a, an experiment and this experiment cost me $10,000 and the experiment did not work. Now, if I had no money, I couldn't have ran the experience. If I didn't have additional money, I could have survived the experience. See, here's the thing. Everyone wants to start a business with no money. Start a business that is simple, that's easy to do, doesn't take any money, yet for some reason, people feel that this business can make a lot of money with no money invested, no experience on the table, easy to start, simple to do. This is a recipe for madness. This is a recipe for you to be losing your mind trying to start a business that doesn't have any investment. You wanna start a business, you wanna set up a holding company, an operating company, you want to get yourself some business credit. You want to learn how to run a business. You want to start your first online business if you want to do that. And congratulations to you for being a person that wants more out of life, for being that person that's ready to sit down, do the work so your future can be brighter. I got something for you. Go below and enter into the Corporate Citizen Playbook where we teach you all of that plus a lot more, because you are not a normal, regular person. You want more out of life. You wanna do more, you wanna be more, you wanna have more, and congratulations to you. So this link is below, go ahead and check out this video, and then go ahead and enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook, where I teach you some things that you cannot Google. Can't Google it can't Google it at all. One of the things that you have to look at, let's go ahead and take some um, businesses. Airbnb. Airbnb is a really, really popular business that a lot of people are starting to fail. Now, this is a business that does take money to acquire. Even if you're starting a business where you're renting a place, check this out. All right, so you start, you, you rent this place, and you start this business, you gotta furnish it. Now, you're gonna either spend money going to new furniture stores, or you're gonna buy used furniture. But at the cheapest, you're looking at spending 3,000. If you're gonna buy new, you're looking at spending 10,000 to furnish this place to get your money back over a slow period of time. And this is one of the things that you really have to understand about starting a business that you understand. Because Airbnbs, in my opinion, are probably one of the worst businesses anyone can get into because number one, it's a lot of money to get into it. Even if you're renting a place, it's a lot of money to get into it if you're buying a place. So with that whole example of Airbnb, which in my opinion, is a very, very bad business, unless you can just, let's say your dad died and left you a house in Florida near Disney World. Okay, that right there can be a really good thing for you if someone if that happened to you. But if no one left you a house, <laughs> no one put you in that situation, then you've gotta go out here and figure out a way to get a house and go ahead and set that up. Now, another reason that you gotta be careful, and let's talk about this, starting a business with no money, no cash in the bank, nothing going on. All right, this is one of the ways that you can set yourself up to be extremely frustrated. Set yourself up to be extremely blown out the water because one of the things that you have to do is 
have an understanding of your audience. And this, once again, takes research and experience, but this is something that a lot of people don't do. Once again, let's go back to the Airbnb business. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, right? And there's what I call the failed Airbnbs. These are properties that someone tried to put on Airbnb. These are fully furnished houses, and for some reason, they cannot seem to get these houses rented out on Airbnb. They just can't, so they're failed Airbnbs. So what are these people trying to do? They're trying to rent these houses in the regular rental market at an exorbitant rate. I have seen houses, normal, regular houses, going for six, seven, eight, and ten thousand dollars because they're fully furnished. Now here's one of the issues, and this is why I said Airbnb is a really bad uh, market. Who's going to rent a house for eight thousand dollars a month or um, ninety-six thousand dollars a year? Who's going to rent that house? It needs to be someone making like four hundred thousand dollars a year or maybe five hundred thousand dollars a year. And when you get to those income ranges, the number of people in those income ranges, 90, 93% of the country drops out. So 93% of the country cannot afford to rent this house. Yet these people who have these, these failed Airbnbs have this crazy ideal that they can put this property out and only 7% of the country has the income to afford to rent them. And this is a lack of understanding. And this is kind of one of the reasons you don't want to get into a business with no money. I know it sounds a little confusing, but let me explain. If you were a seasoned business person, you spend a little money, you were educated, you would not know before you even bought the property that you could not put this property on the market for eight or seven, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars per month. Because there's just not that many people who could afford to rent that house. You would know this if you were a seasoned business person. But this is one of the reasons that so many people got into the Airbnb marketplace who are not seasoned, who believe these uh, YouTubers that for one of the reasons that they, they don't understand the market because the Airbnb market isn't about real estate, it's about in being a, a tourist, creating a tourist situation. It's a hospitality business. So you have all these people who are getting in business who don't have money. And also let's talk about OPM, other people's money. There are numerous people on YouTube who are talking about using OPM is someone else's money. All right, let me go ahead and explain to you why that's also a bad idea. I started a car rental business. I spent $400,000. I bought 31 cars, right? One of the worst business decisions I've ever made in my life. I started this car rental business and the car rental business is a hot mess. Renters, like all my cars got damaged. I had cars stolen, I had cars, I had, at one point I had 12 wrecked cars. Now, because I invested my own money into this business, when it went bad, I didn't have to file bankruptcy, I didn't have credit issues because I had my own money and I was in the position where I could actually run the business with my own money without worrying about having to get someone else's money or to pay back someone else's money. So th th these are some of the dangers of starting a business with no money, having no money in the game, not understanding what's going on and how it can deeply impact you going forward in the future. Now, one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to pay attention to is starting a business and knowing how to run that business. Now, this is a little different topic than just talking about the money. We're talking about the experience. And this is one of the things that we're talking about creating a situation where you can be successful. And so many people have this issue with money. No one wants to have any money. No one wants to save any money. No one wants to stack any money. No one wants to be in a position 
where they're in a position where they can have money to go ahead and get into business and start business and to make money in the future from the business that they have started. Now, this is really, really, really deep. Now, this is one of the things that I talk about in the MAN program. There should be a link going about where I talk about the things that you can do to prep yourself for the future and to give yourself an opportunity to be positioned where you can actually make a lot of money going forward. Now, one of the things is you've got to prepare yourself. And th this is one of the things that happens in this environment with people not having money and not having themselves set up where they can go ahead and literally be in a position where they can begin to build businesses and to have themselves a situation. Because one of the things is in America, you know, there's a statement that is either 56% or 70% of the people in America do not have $1,000 in the bank. To me, that's really, really sad that you cannot scratch up a thousand dollars. Now, this gives you the idea. Now, when you start talking about five and 10,000, there's even less people than that who have money. And one of the things that you have to do is to prepare yourself to be successful in the future. And part of that being successful in the future is to set yourself up where you have money to invest in your business to make moves. Because one of the things that happens is people are not out here doing the right things with their money. And this is why everyone is looking to start a business with no money, that's simple, that's easy, that can make a lot of money, it doesn't take a lot of time. This is why everybody's trying to start one of these businesses and this puts them in a very, very bad situation because one of the things that happens is when you start a business with no money, you don't understand the concepts of money. You don't understand how to make money. You don't understand the whole situation of putting together a business and stacking your business checking, stacking your business credit. You don't understand that because you're operating in an environment that doesn't have money. You're operating in an environment that's completely missing money, doesn't have money, and this creates a situation where you're trying to pretty much scratch money from the dirt. You're trying to start a business, you're trying to build a business, you're trying. Now, once again, let's go ahead and talk about social media. Now, social media, you can make a lot of money from content. You could travel the world and show this content online and make money from your travels. Social media is a very different business model that I'll talk about in the future, but starting a business where you serve clients, products and services is a totally different thing. And once again, when you get into these businesses with no money, you're struggling, like go ahead and talk about the new service that we're operating. Uh, we will put together your holding company and stuff. There's so many people that struggle with that and they have the money. They just don't understand the process. That link's below. But one of the things that we wanna do is to educate you on how to properly start a business. Now, when I say starting a business, you don't need hundreds of thousands, you don't need millions, but you need to be in a position where you have five to $10,000 accessible cash that you can put into your business. This will make a huge difference with you scaling your business up, with you doing the things that you need to do to make your business successful, doing the things that you need to do to make your business a winner. This is a totally different thing in terms of you putting together your business, setting up your business. Now, this is one of the things that we talk about in the MAN program. We go ahead and give you the tools and the facilities to properly for set yourself up where you can have access to money in the future to actually 
start doing the things you need to do to set up your business, to start making more money, and so on and so forth. All these links are below, so check them out. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. I'll talk to you in the next one.